We started walking down the stairs. We made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. And I turned to Hesh. I, I said, this is it. We're dead. We're, we're not going to make it out of here. I took uh, a fire extinguisher and I bust the window out. That's when this gentleman, this gentleman here heard my cries for help. Hi, my name is Barry Jennings. I'm 52 years old. Um, I've worked for, for 33 years at one location. When the Office of Emergency Management did an activation, they always, they always included our locale. And what, it, what, it, what, what we did was, what they did was monitor the emergency. They actually coordinated the emergency through several agencies. I, I received a call shortly after the first plane hit. I got there, uh, I had to be inside on the 23rd floor when the second plane hit. Upon arriving into the OEM uh, EOC, we noticed that everybody was gone. I saw coffee that was on a desk. Still, the smoke was still coming off the coffee. I saw, I saw uh, half-eaten sandwiches. And only me, Mr. Hess, was up there. Um, after I called several individuals, one individual told me that um, to leave and leave right away. Mr. Hess came running back in and said, we're the only ones up here, we gotta get out of here. He found the stairwell. So we, we subsequently went to the stairwell and we're going down the stairs. When we reached the eighth or the sixth floor, the landing that we were standing on gave way. There was an explosion and the landing gave way. And we're, I was left there hanging. I had to climb back up and now I had to walk back up to the eighth floor. When I made it to the sixth floor and, and, and the, there was an explosion, the explosion was beneath me. Keep in mind now, it's pitch black in there. All the lights went out. So when the explosion happened, it blew us back. I'm thinking I'm standing on a, on, on the landing. I'm actually holding on to a pole b above us. Really? And I had to climb back up because Hess is yelling, what do we do now? I said, there's only one thing we can do is, and it's go back up. Both buildings were still standing. Keep in mind, I told you the fire department came and ran. They came twice. Why? Because building tower one fell, then tower two fell. And then when they came back, they came back with all concern now, like to get me the hell out of there. I was trapped in there for several hours. I was trapped in there when, when both buildings came down. All this time, I'm hearing all type of explosions. All this time, I'm hearing explosions. When they finally got to us, and they took us down to what, what they, they uh, called the lobby, because I asked them, I said, when we got down there, I said, where are we? He said, this was the lobby. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. It was total ruins. Total ruins. Now keep in mind, when I came in there, the lobby had nice escalators. It was a huge lobby. And for me to see what I saw, it was unbelievable. And the firefighter that took us down kept saying, do not look down. And I kept saying, why? He said, do not look down. And we were stepping over people. And you know you can feel when you're stepping over people. This big, giant police officer came to me. And he says, you have to run. I said, I can't run. My knees are swollen. He said, you're going to have to get on your knees and crawl in. He said, because we have reports of more explosions. And that's when I started crawling. And I saw this guy fall behind me. And his comrades came to his aid. They dragged him to safety. I'm just confused about one thing and one thing only. Why World Trade Center 7 went down in the first place. I'm very confused about that. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. The, the, the um, expl explanation I got was... It was the uh, fuel oil tank. I'm an old boiler guy. If it was a fuel oil tank, it would have been one side of the building. 